Hey, what's happening, YouTube and 2K fans? Sorry, I'm a little late to the party. I did promise that I was going to do a 2K17 Legend Edition Gold unboxing. It's just stuff happening, man. So let's get right to it. I'm sure some of y'all have seen what this looks like anyway already. As soon as they announced this, I had to get it. I had last year's Jordan Edition, but it was just... Some of this Kobe edition, especially every with everything, um, with how you went out, man. That last game he played where he scored at 60 points was amazing. I saw that game in person after flipping from the Golden State 73 win game. So we take a look at all the sides of the box already, and now we look at the back. Here we have new features. Um, really looking forward to the new presentation with the... Uh, the three-man booth and the uh, regional broadcast. And you got the Team USA pre-order bonus and all this other stuff going on here. <clears throat> so I think I, I started to open it a little bit. And I was like, man, I should just share this with my subscribers. So that way we can experience this together. We can all see what 2K has in store for us this year. So, let's see. Pull this out. So, first of all, I forgot to mention this is like a cardboard case, but with like nice, you know, shiny kind of embossed thing going on here. So, I think that's pretty cool. So, when you first take it out of the box from the front side, here you have, okay, like a PS4 kind of Mamba Kobe snakeskin we got thing going on here. So it's a cover for your controller. Not sure if I'll use it. Because I, I already use like PS4 grips, uh, rubber grips that go over my system, my controller, I mean. It's really nice to have the signature and it definitely has a texture to it. It has the cutouts for everything you need and it's thumbsticks and everything. So it's pretty cool. Kobe Bryant Legend Edition Gold. Oops. So, yeah. So there's a code here in the back. So I'm gonna flip it over. This is for my 100 V 100 K V C. Got to use this code by a certain date. I'm sure that's it'll give me all the the Kobe shoes, the hoodie, um, all those V C and all that goodies that was in the the box. I forgot all the stuff that comes with it. Sorry, it's late. <laughs> I'm not going to go run through all that now. If, you, if you're a fan of 2K and been following them, you, you know what, what came in the Legend Edition. So this is really cool that they gave me an extra shirt, limit time offer, and yes, there's a code on the back. So we get an extra shirt I can use for probably, you know, my part, my career. We got the Kobe poster, which is really nice. I had the Jordan poster from last year. And from... What I remember it was just a cover. It was just a, the, a reprint of the cover of the game, and it's the same thing right here. Which is interesting, though, for this poster, they gave us the Legend Edition cover, which is the purple in the background, as opposed to, you know, doing a different poster for the Legend Gold Edition, which was which would match my cover. But I guess you know they do a limited run on the covers. Um, so this is definitely one of the things, let me talk about this a little bit, I was looking forward to an actual physical item, which is really cool. A Panini, um, trading card. Um, you know what, I was going to keep it in here, might as well just open it. I think there are two, two trading cards in here. Yeah. So this is, I think this is really cool. Let me zoom in a little bit here, maybe I focus... So you got Kobe Bryant, really nice glossy card from his last game. It was such a great moment against the Utah Jazz, and he scored at 60. And he, they needed him to score all those points in order to win, and there are talks about right here. Not one to simply blow kisses and wave for goodbye. Kobe left the NBA game only after shaking staples with a wave of raw emotion. A relentless Bryant bowed out of the game with a performance of the ages uh, versus Utah on April 13, 2016, rattling 60 points. So really cool trading card. And for the other side, 
Okay, so we got like a little bit of real Kobe and virtual Kobe. Pretty cool. Kind of from this, it looks like the same game. Kind of trying to represent it here with the purple sleeve. The 24 and the older Kobe. But this one, I guess it's kind of like a track of his career here. Gives you a little rundown about his what his game was like. And I definitely agree with that. What's there on the back. Definitely the closest thing we'll ever see to Jordan. You know, um, I'm kind of, you know, I'm a big NBA fan. Um, I'm a Knicks fan. Oh, here, this is the lenticular insert, I believe it's called. So I think it has kind of a hologram kind of like type of thing, thing going. So you rotate it. It's hard to see it, but you can see the hand moving. That's really kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool in some ways. So I guess you're supposed to insert this in the front. I think it's yeah measured out that you can me put it right in the front of your game. So that's kind of cool. It has a weird back to it. I don't know if this is magnetic as well, but it's cool. And now the game. And yeah, as I was about, I was rambling. I'm all over the place tonight. Sorry if I'm. I sound incoherent. I'm kind of preparing to have friends over, actually. We're going to be playing this game later today. And we're probably going to maybe get, do some My Park and some um, Blacktop multiplayer, which would be really cool. Um, yeah, Kobe is definitely one of my favorite players of the last generation. It's definitely a one-of-a-kind player. I mean, the guy was multiple-time All-Star, multiple-time first team on overall NBA and on the defense. You know... Yeah, he basically was Jordan in some way. Jordan asking, he's, even Jordan said, hey, he stole all my moves. But I think Kobe, with one thing with him, here, we take a look at the manual. Um, he, he was just somebody you had to watch every every game. And I think was maybe one of the best scorers and, and, and um, so finesse at his game. Um on a level that I don't think we, we'll ever see again. I mean, his footwork was so good. The guy can run and jump and shoot and defend with the best of them. He made three-pointers. He made free throws. And not part for individual sales. So this is not a resale copy because obviously it's bundled with this. So here we got the back of the game and everything. You could pause it if you want to read everything. Here, so it's pretty cool. Just recapping everything that's on the outside of that cardboard box. So, I guess there you have it. Nice um, recap of everything here. Lenticular insert. Physical game. You got your two trading cards from Panini. I'm going to leave those inside the box. You got the poster. You get an extra bonus, limited time instructions. You get the poster of the cover. You get your digital content with that's going to be like the hoodie and all the VC and the Kobe shoes. You got the black Mamba controller skin. And it all comes in this nice, amazing box. So, all in all, I think 2K has done a good job. I haven't played the full game of this yet. I have played the prelude. And I'm definitely noticing some adjustments they made, like on the the blocks in the paint. The way, you know, the rebounds and, and, and you can feel phys more physicality in the paint, I think, now. And also, the, uh, they adjusted the shooting and stuff like that. So I, I think there's it's it, it's it warranted a purchase this year for me to check it out. So pretty much wrapping it up tonight, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll definitely come to you guys with a lot more gaming content. I might even do another video or two tonight. I have so much stuff I purchased and want to unbox and talk about recently. So look forward to maybe some of my broadcasts and hopefully I you know doing some more. Um, commentary with my videos as opposed to just posting gameplay so there you go guys NBA fans 
we definitely have something to you know rejoice about. 2K is back. Look for me online on Blue Shadow 17 on PSN. And uh, I'll see you guys on the court.